art project that will put a splash of color on your Easter dinner table. We're making pretty personalized place cards all from a puddle of watercolor. These painted name markers remind us of a geologic formation known as a geode and seem to extend their own warm invitation to each and every dinner guest at your table. Natalie Mayland is here to share how to paint watercolor geodes and use them as table setting place cards. These are gorgeous. I'm so excited to show you. These are Gorgeous. So fun to do, too. Like the color and the way it blends and drips, you say it is easy. It is, I promise you, it really is. It'll be so fun to do with your kids, you can do it with your family, you can do it yourself if you just need like some me time. It's a great project, so. It feels like a project, too, that watercolors were created for, right? That softer tone. Oh, it's beautiful. You can get hard lines, you can get the pretty blends that geodes have down inside of them. You can do fun things with salt to get that rocky texture. Mm -hmm. And then when you add the gold, I mean, it can't get much better than that, right? We're Let's throwing in a little, little bit, of, bit of bling. You gotta have some sparkle. A little bit of metal. So where do we begin with this project? What do we need supply-wise? Supply-wise, it's really simple. You can use pan watercolors. That's what I generally use. But today we're using some tubes. Pan it, watercolors like the Those are the dried ones in the pan, like palette? Crayola, the little ones that come in a palette. Th yes. Those would work. Those would work great. Okay. That's what I use most of the time. Um, but today we're gonna be using these ones. Uh-huh. And if you buy tube watercolors, there's a little tiny I don't know, sharp thing at the end. <laughs> Technical term. Whatever that is, I don't know, a cone <laughs> that you can use. You unscrew it and you use that to poke it open. Okay. So that's how they're sealed, so they come sealed. Got and it. then we're just gonna put a little on your plates. If you put them on a plate or a palette, you can re-wet them again later. Oh. So that's the way I like to work with them because they're a little more dry. But on these, the darker you go, the easier it is for the name to pop. So using a tube watercolor makes it a little easier to get them really rich and saturated so that the name shows up really well against so the color. So don't be scared as you're painting and creating. If it looks dark, okay, totally fine. The name will jump. The name will jump. Plus, watercolors, as they dry, they'll get lighter and lighter. Okay. So we're just gonna put a little bit out right here. Now, what kind of paper are we using? This kind of has a texture This is an it. awesome paper. This is Hana Mule, and it's Cezanne cold press paper. What? So cold press means that what it has... What did you just say? I know, it's a mouthful. I, I wish I spoke better German, <laughs> but it's a German company and it's 100% cotton rag, so it's just going to oh. dry really pretty on oh. the paper. Okay. You can use, you know, any craft store watercolor paper that you have, but this is just going to add an extra depth. I tell people in classes all the time, if you're going to invest, invest in your paper because that's honestly where you're going to get a big difference. That surprises me. Yeah. Invest in the paper. It surprises everyone. Okay. It's, it's a great place to to put your dollars, it is. your crafting cash. It's not always where you want to put it, but it's <laughs> in the paper. It's a good place. Well, it's pressure not to screw up, I'll tell you that. No, <laughs> no, no, this is great. These are half sheets, so I like to cut them down too. So if you're doing size-wise, I started when I first was doing them a little bit bigger. And you Look could these. cut that down. This would make a really pretty thank you card too. I think oh. it would be so fun to write thank you pretty on the front and right. then on the back write your little card. Right. So I did them a little bit bigger, but I kind of like them to be a little smaller. So you can paint it bigger and then you can always just trim it down smaller mm. if you're painting and you're like, oh, it's getting too big. It's mm -hmm. totally fine. Scale so, it down with some scissors. Scale it down. So when I put the paint out, I like to put the dark kind of on the side. I'm Remember? scared. Oh no, don't, you'll be fine. Oh no, she says, the oh talented no. watercolor artist standing you're, to my left. No, it's <laughs> fine, it's all good. Okay. What are we doing? So you're just gonna take a flat brush, uh -huh. and I'm dipping kind of the dark sides in one. You really can't oh. really, I mean, we're just gonna paint a circle. Did so I mess up already? Nope, you're great. Are you sure? Yep, okay, totally okay. fine. Okay. There's a couple different techniques we'll do. So we're gonna do like two on this. So if you have the dark side, I like to keep that towards the center of the geode. Mm -hmm. And then the lighter side on the outside. Oh, was I supposed to do color, color, color? Nope, you're fine. Are you sure? I just put three out there because we're going to put some stripes inside. <laughs> okay. I promise you. It's, and then you're just going to start. So see, right now I don't have enough water uh -huh. on my paper. So uh -huh. you're just going to add more water. Uh -huh. And literally how we, you talked oh about. My heck, I did it, kind you're of. You're just going to make a pretty. Little rainbow loop. Pretty paint puddle. Oh my gosh, this is so okay. fun. Why is this so fun? <gasps> okay. And it's gonna look like now, that. Now what did you do? I looked away. How did you feel in the so middle? So I just kept going like a racetrack. You kept going. You just keep turning your brush so the dark's in the middle, but honestly, mm -hmm. on a bunch of these, I messed up like six million times and put the dark on the outside, and that's really pretty too. I feel really proud of that. It's amazing. Well, it's so not then, as, a, now I compare it to yours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I've done this Hold like on. 20 Hold times. Hold on, this is what it's supposed to look like, but this is my I beginner don't know. lady. I don't know, nature, I don't know there's a supposed to. Mine looks like a potato bug. It does not look like a potato It's okay, it's okay, but I'm committed to do better next time. If you want to put more dark in the middle, you could, just okay. to make that name pop, but while it's still really wet like this, mm -hmm. 
that, that's a great time to do it. So you can use the same brush or you can use this slightly smaller okay. pointed one. Uh -huh. A lot of the geodes I was looking at on the outside edges, they have another band mm -hmm. of color right before that gold before that we put. Gold. Oh, we gotta get to the gold too. So I just put another, another band and then you can use your big brush. It, it's just a lot of fun. You're just This being, really is fun. There is something so calming about this. It's, it's a really it's great project. I the colors project. or the strokes of the brush or and the if you creative outlet. Really strange outlined edges like this guy. It's totally gonna be fine. Who said mother nature was perfect? No one? No one. Here and if go. you have some salt, which is table salt or kosher uh -huh. salt, uh -huh. you can sprinkle some of that on the middle too and it gives you kind of this fun. <gasps> look at that. Little speckly as oh, it's drying. Oh, look at that. So you just leave it and let it dry all the way and when it's completely, completely dry, uh -huh. you just scrape it off. Just brush this off. And then you'll put the name on. And when you're doing the names. Did we talk about the gold? Oh, we didn't talk about the gold, okay. So I used this little Sharpie guy. This okay. works the best for me. Okay. It's really bright, it's really shiny. You have to shake it up really, really well, and then you're just gonna trace around the edges. It allows you to get just that like line, this. may I? Mm-hmm, go right ahead. And then tell us you about the name. You have to pump it a little bit first. Okay. And you wanna get um, the, hang on, I can't remember if it's fine, the extra fine point. They have a okay. whole bunch of different tips. Okay. So there's fine, there's extra fine. This is the extra fine. So when you're doing these letters, the extra fine is the one that you want to do. I'm actually really surprised to learn it was a marker because the sheen is really pretty. I mean, it's, it's really, really vibrant good. and lustrous. Is that a and word? if you have something like this, this is um, a gold gouache that I use a lot too. Oh. And you can add this on top of the marker for is even that, a little tiny bit more sparkle. That's what I'm seeing. So then. some of these have a little bit more added with this gold gouache on top. That's what I'm seeing. I love it. Okay, and names. It, what do we do with the names? It works really well. So I use a little pencil. Okay. And I will pencil them in before I go in with the marker because I'm not the best at centering things, let's be honest. So that makes it a lot easier. Okay. If you pencil it in and then trace it on with marker, let it dry, erase it off, and you're good to go. I think you do need the gouache. That's what I'm seeing, that beautiful metallic. You've got some variations on the same project. The place yes. cards are beautiful. What else could we do with this technique? There's a lot of different things you can do with these pretty stripes and folding things over. So this was just, I did a whole page of stripes, uh -huh. and then I cut them down and folded them in half. So you can just take this card, fold it in half, or if you're doing a wedding or a brunch, you could put oh, a name lovely. on and put this up on one of these little stands. Oh, is that my name? Oh, name? oh, I'm yeah. smiling. Oh, and yeah. there's Emmy's name. Look how sweet that was. So they're looks. just so sweet and so simple on the little stand. And, and how have you mixed those in with the overall table design here? You know, we have these really fun, super easy table napkins. I just took pinking shears, those zigzag ones, and cut squares around the edge and tied them into napkins. These aren't just any napkins though. We are they celebrating aren't. the fabric designer, which happens to be That's you. Great. It's Th my debut collection with coats. This is gorgeous. Very excited what about it. What is this like as an artist to put your painting, your talent onto fabric? I'm thrilled, I love to sew. I haven't had a lot of time for it lately, but I love to sew and it's been a dream of mine to always do it, so. It's gorgeous. It's really exciting. And the fact that you made those with just pinking shears and it completes the table setting in such a beautiful way with our gorgeous G. Nice and easy. Yes, I love it. We love you, thank you, congratulations on the launch. Thank we can so learn much. more on your website. Yes. What's that? NatalieMaylin.com. Okay, look for the link on our website too to make it easy. Easter just got beautiful and elegant and easy all at the same time. That's a combination we love. All right.